Hello, my name is Brian. This is my assistant, Gee Buttersnaps. <laughs> What's going on everybody? You're watching Angling Anarchy. Nathan and I, we are up in northern Wisconsin. Once again, it's October, but you wouldn't know it by the weather. Yeah. Um, it's, what's it gonna be today? 77. 77 today. That's dumb. Yeah. It's middle October, it's gonna be warm. I'm gonna run into some lily pads up here. Uh, but yes, we are out here fishing away. Uh, I've got five days up here, Nathan's up here for three days, so. We're going to be hitting it hard. Uh, we didn't even get any suckers because it's just going to be so nice out. We're just going to cast. If we do catch a pike or something like that, we might throw it on a, a live bait rig. But uh, yeah, we're just up here musket casting. We've got 52 to 50 degree water temps on the lake we're on right now. Uh, we're on a shallow part of a lake that's kind of separated from the main lake by um, by a little channel. So. If we don't see anything here, we always have the option to go over there, uh, but I know there are fish back here. We've had some success early on. Uh, we've, we know some guys that have had success back here later in the fall, so let's see what we can do. Has he been guiding at all? I don't think so. Okay. That one. Yeah. Yep. Nice dude. Nice, nice, nice. He's not hooked very well. Shit. He was weird. He bumped him. Yeah. And like pushed it forward. bumped it forward yeah and I was like what the hell is that I thought it bumped off a weed sure and all of a sudden he's just, just there yeah cool dude cool cool holy shit, the banana works again <laughs> is there a banana in yeah, the boat? I do have a banana in the boat I like this lure. He's fatty. Oh, yeah. we got him. Just a second here. Okay. All right, folks. Well, um, we caught a fish. Uh, it was a little bit of a cluster because my chesty's not on and it's windy. Yeah. So uh, I'm assuming you're going to be hearing a lot of wind noise while we're fighting this fish. I might try to pull the audio from down here. Uh, we'll see what happens. But the important thing is, is we have a fish. Uh, and it's October, which yeah. should be good musky fishing, right? Not for us yeah. the last couple of years. So uh, this is this is exciting. We've got ourselves a fish on the first day, the first hour, hour yeah. of being up here yeah. uh, in northern Wisconsin. So uh, let's take a look at this little guy. I'm going to get on the other side of here, Nathan. Yeah. He's at least a chunker. Yeah. yeah. Spicy chunker. Oh, 
Oh, what a belly. What a belly for that little guy. That's a nice fish, dude. Yeah. Split tail on him. Cool fish, man. Yeah. On the Navin. Yeah. Love Nate's these. new favorite bait. <laughs> Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yep. Thirty-six on the nose. Let's do the fat belly. Oh, he's got something big in his belly. It's right there. Yeah, he's got a sucker or something in his belly. Yeah. Chunky. And he still wanted to eat. Beauty. That was a fun fight too. Yes. It was a fun fight for him. Yeah. I was scared <laughs> because I didn't want to lose that fish. It's this water that we're fishing in, folks. It's so dark. Even if the fish is like a foot down, it's they're they're hard to see. So um, cool. We have a nice fish in the boat. We just started. It is extremely windy. It yeah. is extremely sunny. So um, just just to have one now is cool. But. Uh, 51 degree water temps, yeah. so. 51 degree water, and we are in a really shallow part of a lake that shouldn't, I mean, it's it's cut off enough from the main part of the lake that it shouldn't experience, oh, look at that navin, look at that. It shouldn't experience a turnover, really, because it's only seven feet back here. So, um, yeah, maybe this is where we're gonna camp out today if we keep getting fit, nice fish like that. There are There is a chance for like a 40, 44 in here too. Um, you know, usually these spots don't have the biggest fish in the world, but we should have some nice ones. So I'm going to stop yapping and we'll get back to fishing. Oh, no. Did you just get hit again? Oh, no. Did you really? Get bumped pretty hard. Yep. That was a whack. Oh boy. Uh, you made me jump. Yep. <laughs> All right. Number two. Contact with the fish. I, he caught me off guard. Did, yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I slept on a hook set. All right. Well, that's good though. They're smacking. Right. Just left of that little weed pad. Okay. I got a fish. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, it's tiny. Yeah. It is tiny. Like I no. Is that a husky? Wow. I guess that's technically a musky <laughs> boys and girls. Holy cats. Big appetite. Wow. Yeah, your eyes are bigger than your stomach there, buddy. Well, let's, what do you want? let's see what we can do with him. Well, I guess we are musky fishing, and that is technically a musky. Okay, but technically. <laughs> okay, yeah, we know. Just, all right, play yourself out there. Oh, the bite's on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch out, everybody. <laughs> Oh, he's a cute little bugger. Yeah. Just don't. Oop. All right. Real quick. Yeah. Musky. Yeah. <laughs> that is probably one of the smallest musky I've ever caught. What a cute little guy. Yeah. That's like a stalker. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the thrill there. Well, we've caught one and a half muskies, people. Keep it going. <laughs>
All right, folks, we are in the power hour. We have one hour, give or take, left to fish. We haven't really bumped into a whole lot since Nate caught that first one, so I'm not blaming anybody for jinxing the operation, but you know, sometimes that happens. Um, we, we, <laughs> We bumped, we bumped into that really small guy that I got. We went to the other side of the lake where it's a little bit deeper. Um, the weeds look really good over there. The water looks really clear. Uh, I don't think turnover is an issue, but we didn't see any fish over there. So we're back to the shallow side here. Tried um, a bit of everything too, from top water to deuces. We tried to deuces, top waters, cranks. cranks, navins, of course. So we're back. Um, we're gonna spend the time where we had Nate caught the fish and had the hit um, And we're just gonna see if we can put all of our eggs in that basket and see if we get lucky Just hit something uh, Not in three feet of water I don't think Unless we go over something. I, I've had muskies hit the prop before. Really? Oh yeah. Really isn't much there. Yeah, like we'll be going, we'll be in 17 feet. It's happening. <gasps> what? Was it just sitting there looking at my yeah. bait? <laughs> that was a good fish too. What in the world? Is that what, okay, let me explain what just happened here because this makes us look like total idiots. Something hit the trolling motor. We're in deep enough water that we can't hit anything. So I was saying it was a muskie and then a muskie just tried to eat that. What, wow, this is dumb. That was a good fish. Was it really? Yeah, that was bigger than my 36. Huh, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys and girls. That's it, that's a wrap. We could not make it happen after that first fish. That, uh, I think it almost came too soon when we had that, uh, that it was that unlucky first fish syndrome that uh, happens every now and again. But uh, a fish in the boat nonetheless uh, hit and that, that crazy one where, uh, yeah, I don't, I, the only thing I can think of is the fish came up, hit the trolling motor prop, and then it came over and hit my bait. That's the only thing I can come up with. Um, I guess crazier things have happened, but uh, we are going to go back, get to the cabin. Uh, we have to get ready for a river float that we're going to do tomorrow. Um, so we've got to get uh, all a bunch of baits and stuff out of this boat into the John boat that we're going to strap into the truck and uh, drop into the river and do a nice little 10 mile river float. So be on the lookout for that one. But with that, I am not in focus. Well. Sorry folks, I'm out of focus. That means we're done. Uh, thank you everyone for watching, I appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next video.